Scott Brown here. In today's exciting episode, we remove this chimney. Okay, our main focus this morning is propping everything up so the chimney can come out. See, it's quite a mess up here. So the next stage of this chimney removal is to take away all the roof framing that's in and around the chimney, prop it and support it elsewhere. We've done most of the propping here. There's one bedroom, there's another. And this wall is the wall we're taking out. This brace here is sitting on the wall, but we want it to sit on a beam. And that beam can't go in until this chimney's gone. So we've braced all the way down, all the way down the middle here, just off the wall line. And then if you look on the other side of the chimney, there's also another brace going all the way down. This is similar to formwork when you're doing concrete. You sit back and you look at everything and you go, okay, how can it fail? Where can the concrete push this out? So we're doing the same sort of thing with the roof structure. Once that chimney's gone, how can this framing fall on us? So Pato and I are gonna do that. And as soon as I drop my camera and catch it, it'll be tomorrow. All right. Started taking stuff out. Polythene here, high pool. Dropping off the scaffolding. And that scaffolding is for the inside of this chimney removal. But today, the sun is shining and we're focusing on the outside. So the weather's good in some respects. It's very sunny, no rain, but it's a little bit windy. So the roof below the chimney is getting replaced, but we still don't want to, you know, chuck bricks down on it because it's likely to bounce. So we've got this flat sheet of ply here. <laughs> and we hope this flat sheet of ply uh, will be enough to hold the bricks, at least until Pyder can grab them from the scaffold that he'll be standing on right here. And we've got the camera cable tied to the roof.
doing away with these overalls, partner. Nah, yeah, no. They're just ripped to shreds already. So far, so good. We did well with the we did well with the S-swing hammer. Thankfully, a lot of it was quite loose, and actually, some of the top pieces, some of the top pieces were wet. Even, you know, the water gets into those top layers of brick, and it made it easier. Um, some of them were a bit more stubborn, and we had to get a sledgehammer out. Literally say. Yeah. That's the uh, roof part done. Now we've got a skylight. We're not gonna knock down the rest of the chimney just yet. We need to get this place weather tight. So that has been stitched onto the rest of the rafter. We've got the longest piece that we could fit in. So we've got a good lap. We're pre-cutting some stuff for the purlin on the top. And then we're hoping these clouds don't continue. So that's the cloud coming our direction. You can probably tell by the wind. You can tell by the water hitting us that that cloud is gonna, you can tell by the rain, the vertical. So we're gonna, out of desperation, using these overlap sheets, we're gonna try and poke it under and then there we go. Those clouds don't look good. And on, on a entirely separate note, it's my birthday today. Yeah, so. <laughs> Temporary roof. Are you feeling rich, all right? Feeling rich? Yeah, I feel good. Yeah? Feel ready to knock down a chimney? Feeling safe, I'm working above you guys, so that's all good. Yeah, you like looking down on people? Oh, I just feel safe, you know? You guys should be a little bit concerned. <laughs> the lintel here made up of bricks going that way you take one out and three four oh, it was like a steel thing here look.
Well, there we go, guys. Chimney gone. It was right, right. It was right here before. Right there. So below the floor line here, we are still deciding. We've got to check the condition of the subfloor frame and see whether we can just put a leveling compound on top of the concrete and leave it at that. I might talk to the owner and see if he wants to put some floorboards across there. Um, we'll see what happens there. It's not holding up the rest of the job, so we can leave it for now. And the roof. We've been waiting for sunshine to actually finish the roof properly. We just put a temporary thing, as you just saw. We'll sort that out very soon. Just before you go, I just wanted to shout out Fred Dibner. That's a dude on YouTube. He lived in Bolton. And when I was researching, you know, how to demo a chimney, his videos came up and they're from like the late 70s, early 80s. He's passed away now. But if you want a good watch and you haven't seen it before, if you're in the UK, you probably know exactly who I'm talking about. But if you haven't, check it out. I'll put some links at the end of this video. He's quite a character and um, he knocks over chimneys that are 100 meters in the air. It's crazy. So yeah, check that out. And um, thanks for watching. Catch you guys on the next one.